Hi, I'm Memo and welcome to my channel. On this video, I'll be reviewing the Camelback 100 ounce, that's three liters, Mule Mill Spec Cruise Hydration Pack. Stay tuned for the review. So I bought this pack with my own money, no sponsor or freebies. The reason this pack interested me is because I detect in the hot Mexican wilderness. I also needed a pack that was just big enough to get all my detecting equipment in it and my filming equipment so that I could just carry the one pack. I've been testing it now for about two months. Uh, that's about nine videos that I've done so far with the pack. And for me, it's working amazingly. So let me show you around the pack and give you some specs on it. So here's a quick 360 of the pack. It holds a total of eight liters of cargo and as well as the section for the water reservoir which is here at the back um, there's two other sections. Now the top section is for smaller items and it's just right to here. Has no interior organization. The bottom section is larger and it's for larger items and it has some organization uh, a largest back pocket two small organizational pockets and a zipper mesh pocket the pack is made of 500d double rip cordura fabric uh, which is a game changer for me while out detecting in mexico because there's thorns and barbed wire and sharp rocks everywhere. I've actually snagged it a couple of times on barbed wire and up till now there's been no damage to the pack, which is really good, so I think it's gonna hold up well. It has this laser cut, what uh, Camelback calls a mountain molly section, which I found to be very handy. The shoulder straps have this side release design for quick removal, which works quite well. And I've found the straps to be very comfortable over long periods of time. I've seen other reviews where people are saying that they're a bit stiff, and at first they are, but they really help to hold the weight of the pack. I've been out as long as nine hours detecting with the pack on the whole time and only experienced the normal fatigue from walking around detecting and digging all day. That's something that really surprised me to be honest because uh, three litres of water in the mill spec cruise reservoir uh, weighs three kilograms or seven pounds. Obviously that weight is dropping as you drink the water. But on one of my nine hour adventures, I had to refill the reservoir. Let's uh, open up the section where the reservoir is and take a closer look at that. You can see that there's a hang loop for the reservoir. That helps keep it in place. 
and is very handy. Also, one thing about this reservoir is it has the handle with the large opening so that you can get it under tap like so. You see here at the top where there's an exit hole for the tube. It also has two side exit holes, one on each side. If you prefer um, the tube to come out under your arm. You also have this webbing on the straps and these D loops, D rings, to help keep the water tube in place. As far as drinking out of it goes, you have this cap that comes off and then you have this valve here to keep the water flow from leaking out of the tube at the end here. And this is one of those rubber bite uh, valves where you just bite and suck and the water comes out. Nice and cold and refreshing too. The pack is 18.5 inches high, 9.45 inches wide and 7.48 inches deep. That's 47 centimeters high, 24 centimeters wide and 19 centimeters deep. And it weighs one pound six ounces or 0.62 kilograms empty. And it also comes with Camelback's lifetime guarantee, which covers all manufacturing defects for the lifetime of the product. So here's how I load it out for a day in the Mexican wilderness. I have the reservoir full, so that's three litres of water. And I usually put that in the fridge overnight so that it's cold and it does stay cold for about half a day in the pack. It's kind of got this insulation. In the top section, I have a bag full of uh, spare batteries, cables, chargers, different things that I might need while I'm out. And I have my Hover X1 flying camera right here. And I usually keep my gloves in here too when I'm not wearing them. Now in this larger bottom section, I have my box for coins and other things that I find that I need to keep safe. I have my microphone my wireless microphone uh, box and charger. In this back pocket, I don't have anything right now. If it was a little cooler, I would probably have my um, small stove in there so that we can make coffee when we're out and about. I have this Israeli bandage, which is uh, always something nice to carry, a bit of uh, peace of mind if there's a more serious injury and I have this small first aid kit with some band-aids and a cleaning solution and different things like that and then here in the zipper pocket I have a roll of bandage I have some sun cream and I have a small flashlight on the molly section I have the rat 3 knife and I have this carabiner if I need to attach anything else to the outside and I have my toothbrush for cleaning, not my teeth, <laughs> but the uh, finds, the coins and things like that that we find while we're out. And I've also got these uh, cool morale patches. Okay, then on the front side I have the GPS, which is a Garmin GPS map 65S. Always handy to have that with us when we're out of a uh, cell phone signal range. And I've put my minus tag on here as well. I found in a previous video. Well, let me show you what it looks like on. I usually use this uh, waist strap and this chest strap too, just to help with the weight. And it really is comfortable. And you don't feel the weight. You really don't, it's quite surprising. Fully loaded, it weighs 15 pounds. That's 6.5, no, 6.8 kilos. So it's not super light, 
But like I say, I can go all day with this on and I don't seem to have any trouble. So I really like this pack. I'm really enjoying using it for detecting. Find it really handy for carrying the water that I need when I'm out in the hot sun. Does it have any cons? Really, there's two things that come to mind. First is the water tube that there is no way that I've found to really stop it from flapping around when I'm bending down and getting up. And you've probably seen in some of my videos, it kind of swings in front of the camera every now and again. That would be my only complaint with the pack as such. The other con, of course, is the price. It's not a cheap pack. It's not a cheap hydration pack. Um, you can get it right now on Amazon. In black, it's $140. In camo, it is $155, I believe. And in the tan or the coyote color, you're talking about $170 at the moment. I'm not sure why the price difference for the colours, maybe it's supply and demand, but uh, there you go. If you're in the market for something like this and you need some way to carry gear as well as the water, this is a really nice pack to use. So there you have it, the Camelback Mule 100 ounce mill spec cruise hydration pack. An excellent piece of equipment for detectorists and adventurers in general. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you find this hydration pack useful for your adventures? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one.